welcome back uh, students so this is another exercise problem which is 4.66 and uh, in this problem we have to find out the Norton's equivalent um, of this circuit with respect to the terminals A and B so uh, okay in order to find the Norton's equivalent of uh, this circuit what are the basic steps in first step what we have to do we have to find out the open circuit voltage or we can also call it VAB okay so in order to find the Norton equivalent circuit um, from it first we have to find the open circuit voltage here so this is the open circuit here and in order to calculate the open circuit voltage here let me uh, use here the mesh current method because I can see here that the um, branch current of one of in one of the meshes is already known so when I will use uh, the mesh current here in these uh, two uh, meshes so uh, one current is already known so it will be very easy for me to calculate the only uh, mesh current here which will be here in this mesh so let me call this mesh current as i1 and uh, this the other mesh current as uh, let me use green uh, blue color for it so this is let me call it i2 okay so uh, here i already know that the value of i2 is 4 amps okay so the value of i2 is already known so in order to find the value of i1 here what i will use i will use in mesh i in mesh number one i will use the uh, kvl and after kvl i have to uh, use many steps which are already described in the um, in the method uh, which are uh, which are in the videos which are related to the mesh current method okay so now i am not uh, diving deep into those methods and uh, directly writing all the um, quantities here so it will be equal to the 60 equal to the resistors here which is 50 i1 and minus with the shared resistor here that is 10 and 10 multiplied by i2 okay so now uh, as the value of i2 is already known that is for uh, 4 amperes so it will be 50 i1 minus 10 multiplied by 4 which is 40 is equal to 60 okay so now uh, moving it to the other side it will become 100 so i1 will be equal to 100 divided by 50 so that's why uh, the value of i1 is 2 amps okay so that is the value of i1 so um, uh, as we have found out the value of i1 how to find out uh, the value of the open circuit voltage here we can easily see here that the value of this open circuit voltage which is vb is basically equal to the v8 uh, plus v40 okay uh, by using the kvl when the direction of the current uh, will be like this one or here in this one so uh, we can easily see here that the value of vab is equal to the v8 plus v40 so the value of uh, v8 is 8 multiplied by i2 and the value of v40 is 40 multiplied by i1 because these are the only currents which are flowing uh, through these resistors so i know the value of i2 as well as the value of i1 so 8 multiplied by i2 and i2 is 4 amps similarly 40 multiplied by 2 amps so 8 for 32 and uh, this is the 80 so uh, by adding them i will get 112 volts so that is the VAB or I can call it the open circuit voltage or Thevenin's voltage okay so that is the voltage which is known so uh, now in order to find out the other quantities what I have to do I have to now I uh, find the short circuit current I HC okay that is the short circuit uh, current so in order to find the short circuit current I have to short circuit uh, these two terminals so when these two terminals be short circuited this will be like here this branch will be removed and here it will be ISC okay the current here is this one which is the ISC um, or 
it, it should not make any confusion here. And let me uh, make it very clearly. So let me remove it. So now it will be clear. Okay. So I think it is not making um, any confusion now. Okay. Uh, so let me use the red color for the short circuit current here. That is the ISC this one. So now in order to find the value of ISC, I can again use many problems, but I ha I can uh, use many method, but I have to decide uh, which uh, uh, method will be convenient for me to solve this uh, circuit very easily. So here I can easily see that when I will use these nodes as my reference node and these are the voltages here i can easily see here that the value of this voltage and this voltage these are already known so i just have to find out the voltage at this point okay so that is of uh, node voltage and node voltage i will just use one equation in which i have to find out this v3 suppose if i am not using the uh, node voltage method but i have i have decided to use the mesh current method what will happen there here i will have three meshes one is this one second one is this one and third one is this one as the uh, branch cut off uh, in one of the uh, meshes is already known but still i have now two meshes and then i will have a two by two system of linear um, equation so there i have to uh, solve those two equations but if i am using the node voltage method then i have to just find out the value of this sorry this is v2 i have to find out the value of v2 because um, uh, here the values of v1 and v3 are already known and the value of v1 is uh, 60 volts and the value of v3 is 0 volts okay so it will be convenient to use the node voltage method here so uh, in order to use the node voltage method what are the currents here the, these are the three currents here because these two voltages are already known so let me call it i1 let me call it i2 and this is i3 okay so uh, by kcl I know that I1 plus I2 plus I3 this is equal to 0 the value of I1 is V2 minus V1 divided by 10 the value of I2 is V2 divided by 40 that is basically V2 minus 0 divided by 40 but I am using a shortcut here similarly V2 minus V3 divided by this 8 ohm v2 minus v3 divided by a to him and that is equal to zero okay so now uh, let me move on further so now here uh, let me uh, find the lcm here so what will be the lcm here this will be 40 uh, v2 minus v1 so this will be 4 multiplied by v2 minus v1 plus this will be v2 plus uh, 8 5 v2 minus v3 this is equal to 0 so as i know the value of v1 and v3 let me put it here so what i will get 4 v2 minus uh, 4 into the value of v1 is how much the value of v1 is 6 3 plus uh, this is now v2 and plus 5v2 minus 5 multiplied by v3 and the value of v3 is 0 so it will be equal to 0 and multiplying both sides by 40 what i will get i will get here 0 okay so now adding them 4 plus 5 plus 1 is 10v2 uh, minus 240 this is equal to 0 or the value of v2 is now 240 divided by 10 so i will get here 24 volts that is the value of v2 here okay uh, similarly here i can easily see that i have to find out the value of isc so what is the value of isc the value of isc basically equals uh, this current here let me call it i8 and uh, this current 
I8 and uh, another current let me use uh, other this color for the current here and that is the uh, current here which is flowing here and uh, this is let me call it I prime so uh, the value of ISC the value of ISC is equal to the I8 plus I prime do I know the value of uh, I prime yes it is already known because the value of this is uh, 4 amps so the value of it is already known that is for but what is the value of I8 the value of I8 let me use the uh, same color which I have used here the value of I8 is V2 minus V3 divided by 8 and that is the value of ISC so what is the value of V2 the value of V2 is known here 24 minus 0 which is 24 divided by 8 and uh, this is plus okay uh, I'm using the same colors this is 4 so that is the ISC okay so now let me come here uh, when I will find out ISC so that would be 8 plus uh, 8, 24 multiplied by 8 is 3 3 plus 4 is uh, 3 plus 4 is now ISC is 7 amps okay so that is the uh, value of the short circuit current which I had to find out early, uh, earlier on so now as I have the value of uh, the open circuit voltage which is here the value of the short circuit current which is here so I can easily draw a simplified version of uh, this circuit which is the Thevenin equivalent uh, circuit so let me go here again use the black color which is uh, the color which I have been using so um, what will be the Thevenin equivalent circuit the Thevenin equivalent circuit will be like this one here it will be RTH and it will be VTH I know the value of VTH which is 120 volt, 112 volts but the value of RTH what is the value of RTH sorry let me use it here the value of RTH is equal to the open circuit voltage divided by the short circuit current. So the value of open circuit voltage is 112 divided by the short circuit current which is 7. So dividing it over 8 I will get uh, 16 ohm. So the value of RTH is 16 ohm. Okay. So that's it. That is the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. In order to transform it into the Norton's equivalent circuit what I have to do I have to use a current source here this is A this is B similarly this is now here A this is B the value of the resistor in so transformation will remain the same which will be 16 ohm but what will be the value of the current that would be the same as the short circuit current so the short circuit current here was 7 amps so that is now 7 amps and that is the uh, Norton's equivalent circuit uh, so that said that is the problem which we had to find out in which uh, we have to find the equivalent of uh, this circuit by using the uh, Norton's equivalent circuit across these two terminals which are uh, terminal A and B okay uh, so that's it and uh, that is the problem which we have to solve and uh, with other problems i will see you in the next video till then take care of yourself and thank you